Hey there, welcome to the Mothman Jones Movie Show. I'm your host, as always, Timothy Oliphant. And today's featured movie is Spiral from the Book of Saw. It's a spin-off of the Saw series, the horror torture porn um, series of films that went on from 2004 to 2010. There were seven of them, and they made a movie called Jigsaw, which I forgot existed. And then Chris Rock apparently wanted to make a, a, a new Saw movie, so here we are. And um, Chris Rock was a detective. He's not on the good side of the department that he works in. And he also has a father who is played by Samuel L. Jackson, who has some involvement in the story, where there is some kind of copycat Jigsaw killer. But, um, spoiler alert, Jigsaw has been dead since the third movie, so what's going on here? Uh, we gotta have to find out why is this Jigsaw copycat killer killing cops? I don't know. I was actually looking forward to this because even though most of the Saw movies aren't good, they're enjoyable to watch in a weird way. If you're a fan of horror movies, they have, there's no denying that they have put their stamp on the genre and they've made their mark in pop culture from the mid 2000s on and they still carry a lot of weight, obviously, since they were able to make a new movie. I don't know how much weight it'll carry at the box office, but the fact that the, the series still continues on, it's still a viable franchise. The thing that intrigued me about this movie was Chris Rock being the kind of story plot anchor behind this and really getting this moving. Even though audiences have been trained at some point from this franchise to expect a certain thing, uh, it is nice to see something refreshing after seven or eight movies. And unfortunately, I don't think there's anything new that's here. There are some scenes of torture with elaborate traps, even though I would say the traps aren't that elaborate and there's not the greatest of payoffs for these traps, even though you can argue that, no spoilers here, but the traps aren't really the focus. There's something else happening here that they're trying to give more focus to the character of Chris Rock in this movie, along with his father, who is mostly in flashbacks. But th the whole reason why people go to these movies is for the traps. At least part of the reason is to see the jigsaw killer with the little the puppet who's creepy and these traps. And the traps, some of the traps are interesting enough, but they don't really do a lot with it to engage audiences. Chris Rock in this movie, I, he was funny and he's a great comedian, but I don't think his qualities and his skill set works for Saw. I, I'm glad that the chance was taken and that this movie exists because it's not the worst Saw movie, but it's also not the best in the franchise. I think for most people, if you're interested in watching this out of curiosity, I don't think there's enough here to really make you go, Wow, I can't wait to see if there's something, if there's any more story to tell what happens next, you know? Um, but I do think you can have a good time with this. I went to see this with a few friends on Thursday night and we laughed a decent chunk, but not for reasons why you're supposed to be laughing. There's a lot of unintentional moments here, just the way like an edit happens or a way something resolves with a character or just something funny that happens with like Chris Rock like getting shot in the stomach and just going, Ah! <laughs> 21 Savage curated a whole album for this movie, kind of like how Kendrick Lamar curated an album for the Black Panther film a couple years back. And the soundtrack is fine as a whole, and uh, his song for the movie I think is, is a banger. But I don't think it fits, like I don't think these songs fit in the movie. Every time they would play a hip hop track or any of these songs, in like a transitional scene or an establishing scene or a scene where Chris Rock and his partner are driving around. It just didn't work for me. It just kind of felt odd. This, um, this review for Spiral has now become the episode of Fly from Breaking Bad. As I've been saying that the film is very unintentionally funny and ripe for watching in a group setting with a bunch of your friends because it is that good with people, like you can, the commentary and all that jazz, it seems like everybody who was involved in this movie, like the filmmakers and Chris Rock, wanted people to take this movie seriously, which makes me disappointed because there's not really anything here that's brought to the table that's interesting for me. This, this, the concept, I almost said concept, like concepts. The concept of this movie is interesting to me, and I like the idea, I just don't think that idea was executed all that well. 
<laughs> it, it makes for a fun movie to watch with people because of how unintentionally silly it becomes. But the fact that it, it seems like it was supposed to be taken seriously makes things a little awkward. And it, the buildup going into the payoff that leads to the ending of this movie, which if you've seen any Saw movie, you can kind of predict where things are going, especially if you've seen a bunch of these movies or horror movies in general, the way certain things are resolved or unresolved, you can kind of put two and two together. So it's not uh, it's not all that unpredictable either, which is something that you would expect from a Saw movie. Um, the, the payoff and the ending didn't really work for me. It, it was just kind of like I wanted to be like, wow, this is this is some heavy stuff, but it just didn't work for me like that. And then the actual ending was super abrupt. And I understand that the ending is what it is because of what came before it and the the, icon, the iconography of the Saw franchise. It just, I was just like, that's it? It's also pretty wild to me that it was obvious to everybody that I saw this movie with while we were watching it in real time in the first act that it felt like Chris Rock just doing stand-up bits and working out material to the backdrop of the Saw franchise. <laughs> and to me, that's part of the experience of why it was fun to watch with friends because we're just we're like looking at each other like what movie are we watching <laughs> is this seven or brooklyn 99 you know <laughs> overall though spiral is an okay enough movie in the saw franchise i don't think it really stands out much on its own although you can watch this on its own not having watched the other movies having this probably a similar experience to everybody else the saw isms are there and some of them are satisfying enough, but to me, most of them aren't, especially the buildup with the traps and the payoff for the entire movie in general, just didn't work for me. And knowing what I know now from a particular friend, I think the movie would have been a lot more interesting if somebody else was cast in the partner role, the partner to Chris Rock, but that's just me talking and you're gonna have to figure it out for yourself. Do some detective work on your own, but if you know, then you know. Uh, otherwise, Spiral is okay enough. Chris Rock is fun in the role. Samuel L. Jackson, when he's in it, is very entertaining, and I wish he was in the movie more. The concept is refreshing, but the execution isn't all there. <sighs> kind of a disappointment to me, unfortunately, <laughs> but it's okay. It's fine, I guess. But now I want to know from all you boys and gals, what did you think of Spiral? Let me know in the comments down below. How does it rank up in the franchise for you compared to the other Saw movies and I guess that Jigsaw thing that happened to a couple years back, that was the thing that existed apparently. I watched a video about it and I legitimately forgot about that entire movie. What was that thing? I watched Saw 3 the other day and I think next to the first movie, that's my favorite one because Amanda is MVP and BAE. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments down below what you thought about Spiral and the rest of the Saw franchise. And um, yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you've if you gotten this far, I really appreciate the viewership. And anybody who watches this, I love all of you. If you are watching this and you haven't subscribed yet, you can do that too. And if you want, ring that bell also. So every time I make a new video, you'll be notified. And you won't have to miss out on anything I make. And yeah, thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you guys for the next movie. And have a great week. Peace out, everybody. Later.